The Podcasting Dead is available on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Make sure to subscribe for more podcasts. And while you're at it, drop us a like. If you want to help support the channel and have access to extra content, secret contests, and more, make sure to search for us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Podcasting Dead. All right, it's time for uh, some Walking Dead What Ifs coming at you late because, boy, you know we love you because we have had a ridiculous amount of computer issues tonight. It's been a struggle for sure. <laughs> it really is. I mean, like that, there's no other way to say it other than it's been a struggle. But alas, here we are, and uh, I guess I'm going to be reading the What Ifs tonight because uh, uh, JP's having to do some like ninja stuff over there he's having to like hold a phone in his ear and talk in a mic life's rough for old jp right now yeah it's a, it's a pretty sophisticated my uh, my approach tonight but we'll be okay <laughs> i mean hey it's 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 we're making it work yeah oh yeah but uh right, yeah so man i'm get sure this we got pulled some, up uh, yeah sure we got some good ones tonight Oh, we always do. All right, so let's see. Here's our most recent Walking Dead What If. And let's get down to your questions. Oh, my computer is going slow. All right, starting off with some James Gallagos. What if Merle was successful in killing the governor after he let Michonne go on his way to the meeting place? Andrea might have lived. The group would not have had to leave the prison. Yeah, I think it would have been absolutely amazing if merle if that stupid kid wouldn't have stepped in the way merle would have killed the governor yeah his suicide mission wouldn't have uh, well you know ended up as a suicide mission and yeah things would have been a lot better off for everybody i think yeah no kidding that is that is a really good thought like i mean what if merle was successful like where would they be at now a merle would be alive andrea would be alive the governor would have died i really don't think martinez had a desire to go off and start his own like revenge mission against rick because as soon as they were separated from the governor granted they had seen him mow down his own people but i feel like they would have just been like yeah whatever yeah yeah i think it would have been smooth sailing relatively speaking I mean, as as some have pointed out, or or maybe it was you that pointed out, I mean, granted, without a tank going through those uh, fences, I mean, they probably would have stayed in the prison pretty safe for quite a while. Oh, yeah, man. They would have had no reason to go. Never ran into Negan or the termites or any of those crazy folks. They would have grown old. Old Herschel would still be alive. Yeah, man. Morgan would have uh, met him there at the prison. Yeah. Yep. All life is precious. We know Morgan. We shot at their feet. Yeah. So he probably wouldn't have even, you know, uh, departed and went down to Texas. Morgan would have been so proud of the way that they approached the season three finale. Oh, yeah, man. He would have loved that. You you let him live, Rick. I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh, man. Allie Smith says, imagine that Lori and Shane had an affair prior to the apocalypse that Rick would have known about. Uh, what... What if this led to Lori being five or six months pregnant when Rick got shot? Do you think she would have been able to handle being pregnant at the start of the apocalypse? Why or why not? I don't think so. No, nah, dude, that would have been crazy. I definitely don't think he would have been as, in as big of a hurry to uh, find her. That's for sure. I mean, I guess Carl, he still would have wanted to find. but wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you looking for your family? Hell no, she cheated on yeah. me. <laughs> I'm looking for a new gal. Yeah. Oh, man. I'd like to see my son, though. Yeah. But but Laura can suck it. <laughs> well, she is sucking it. Yeah. <laughs> Just not my it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, I don't know that she would have. The stress on her body and just the stress of it all, it probably would have been too much. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know that it would have killed her, but I just don't know that she would have been able to, you know, haul a baby around while running around from running away from walkers oh yeah man i mean yeah i mean we saw how hard it was with the with judith you know getting from uh, what terminus up to alexandria so yeah that would have been a struggle yes it would have uh your uh uv says what if jason Voorhees, the killer in halloween well that was michael myers so i wonder if he means michael myers or if he means either way they're basically the same one just ha- is a zombie uh, what if Jason Voorhees was in The Walking Dead? Would he survive? Would he be a threat to Rick and the group at the farm? I feel the farm would be the perfect location for Jason to stalk the group. Well, I mean, 
Jason basically is a zombie, so yeah, just not a, not contagious. He just kills you, and he doesn't eat you. He just you know he's just in it for the sport of it, I guess. But I could see uh, Jason like killing all the uh, all the walkers, you know, just wanting to be the uh, the alpha. He didn't want to get his uh, his kill stolen. You know what I'm saying? And Herschel's oh, yeah, definitely could... would have been the perfect setting. Oh yeah. Now, if you're talking about Michael Myers from the Halloween movies, it would be interesting because Michael's a living person. So I could see him getting, I mean, unless he had just, you know, insane plot armor, which he normally does. But I, I could see Michael Myers getting overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely see him maybe being like a beta type character. Only I don't think yeah, he would have done sure. anyone's bidding. I mean, all he wants to do is kill. Yeah. So, I mean, it would have been, it would have been terrible for Jason to stalk the group yeah. or Michael. Yeah. They would have probably died it would have been cool to see a, a jason or a michael versus beta showdown though. that would be a cool crossover no doubt similar characters um but good question uv michael scott says the governor and his group find morgan's trap house in season three. Oh, trap houses and it had traps yeah, I, was I, mean, I thought they meant else. trap houses and you know yeah yeah an, another type of trap house but uh but um and they figure they could find more supplies and guns, but get caught by traps and shot down by Morgan because he's clearing how would the governor did affect what happens after. Well, I mean, that we just actually just kind of addressed that in the first question. Yeah. Um, the governor would have died in one of Morgan's traps. Uh, Merle might not have died. Uh, uh what you call it? Uh, Merle wouldn't have died. Uh, Andrea probably wouldn't have died. Um, uh, a lot, a lot of people wouldn't have died, actually. Yeah, man. But what's interesting to think about is you wouldn't have probably had the governor's people go to the prison. Oh, that's true. That is one adverse effect. Is you might would actually have Andrea stay and run Woodbury. Now that would be interesting, man. A uh, uh, governor Andrea uh, leading Woodbury. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I'd probably best that that didn't happen. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, UV again says, what if everyone died on the highway back in season two when there was that massive horde of walkers? Rick and Shane survived, but watched the entire group get eaten. Ooh. Would they have found the farm had they kept towards the woods because the walkers basically took over the road? I mean, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, they would have. I, I Well, I don't know, because Carl got shot in the woods and it was not seen on screen, but apparently Otis revealed himself to them. Mm-hmm. And then took them to Herschel's farm. So I don't know if they would have found it or not. Yeah, they might have, or they might would have. Uh, they might would have found the prison first. Who knows? And it, you know, and that yeah. all just uh, assuming that Shane's not blaming Rick for getting everybody killed, and you know, go all crazy like he ended up going. Um. Yeah, you know, <laughs> uh, it would have been interesting though because it would have just been Shane and Rick, and been like. So you was banging Laura, huh? <laughs> Shane would have been like, yeah, I was. Well, you know what this means. We got to bang each other. Naturally. We we both have, have had my wife. We can just close our eyes yeah. and pretend we're both having sex with my wife again. Uh, yeah, that's um, one way to do it. We've got an office... We've got the whole office cast in our comments section. So we already heard from Michael Scott. Now Jim Halpert <laughs> asked, do you guys think I'd make it in a zombie apocalypse and be accepted by Rick? Uh, Base Junkie commented, no. Then Dwight Schrute commented, yes. Ha ha, Jim, take that. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, it's an honor to have Dwight Schrute in our comments oh, section. Yeah. I mean, that just made my night. <laughs> um uh, Jim was pretty. Oh, uh, Jim was. You know, I- as far as as John Cran- uh, Kranz- John Krasinski, excuse me. Um, you know, he could play some tough characters, but Jim wasn't really a tough character. I mean, when when uh, Roy was gonna whoop his ass, I mean, he just kind of like just you know, Jim was not a fighter. No, nah, no, nah, he definitely wasn't. He. Um... I mean, put under the right pressure, maybe he could have stepped up to the to the challenge. Yeah, I mean, he was definitely witty enough to survive. He had he had his wits about him, and I think in that regard he would have. But I just Jim was a very soft kind of dude. I just don't know that 
you know, but I think I think Rick would have accepted him, sure, because Jim was a, you know, I mean, I, the, he, once people watch the show multiple times, there's this big like Jim's a douchebag. But I mean, Jim was actually, you know, a decent guy. He liked to mess with Dwight, and yeah, he did steal Pam's fiance. I mean, uh, Roy's fiance, but I mean, he really wasn't a bad dude. So I feel like yeah, Rick would accept him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think he would have. Who put my python in jello? Right. I mean, he's kind of a, he kind of would have, you know, filled that Glenn sort of role, I think. Yeah, he'd have been the voice of reason. Yeah. Damn it, my Glock is in a jello mold. <laughs> Jim. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, very interesting office exchange there. Drago says, "Not really a what if, but I'm watching The Walking Dead over again from the beginning and I just watched the episode where they got to the cdc and dr jenner runs blood tests on everyone and rick asked if the blood was okay and jenner replies no surprises and i got to thinking uh it been a minute since shane last clapped <laughs> that booty and everyone believes that judith is shane's baby so did jenner see she was pregnant and not say anything or did the writers just miss a potential storyline that is interesting yeah well seeing as how he kind of wanted to kill himself and you know just encourage everyone to kind of die there with him he probably didn't want him you know knowing she was pregnant very true and in his mind he probably thought it don't even matter yeah. i'm gonna kill myself soon and <laughs> right. take them with me so what's the point of knowing you were pregnant no. just give her some so yeah i i feel like jenner probably did see it and just didn't tell him oh yeah same here Th- because he, he knew what he was up to and uh, probably just didn't see any point of them knowing. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Um, moving on to Walking Dead, what if OG Mr. Stephen Miller. Oh, boy. What if Merle died on the rooftop after being left up there by T-Dog and Daryl and company and stumbled... No, wait, I'm sorry. Let me start that over. What if Merle died on the rooftop after being left up there by T-Dog and Daryl... And the group stumbled upon his dead body when they came back. Would Daryl have killed Rick right there? If so, would this have cha- how would this have changed the story? And uh, would Daryl have survived the consequences? Would anyone? I definitely in fact? think Daryl would have would have went after him for sure. I don't know if he could have killed Rick, but he damn sure would have tried. Yeah, I don't know that. I mean, Daryl Daryl made at least a couple attempts to go head on with Rick, and it never worked out well. Yeah. Um, not until the later seasons when Daryl had become, a, I guess, a better fighter or something. But yeah, I mean, I definitely think. But Rick's Rick's also, you know, you got to realize what has helped Rick survive is his wit and mm-hmm. his, you know, just reading people and, and things like that. So I mean, I think as soon as they saw Merle's dead body and Daryl ran to it, Rick would have been on guard. Oh, like Rick would have yeah, known, I mean, his, you know. Yeah. Oh God, this guy is. You know, now he's going to want to kill me because his brother's dead. So Rick would have had his guard up. So, no, I don't think Daryl would have been successful in killing Rick. But if he did kill Rick, then, yeah, the show would have, everybody would have died and Daryl would have just went on by himself. Yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty much how it would have went down. I'm going to take my tent in the woods. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, James Gallagos, what if the CRM would have shown up early, season one, when Rick seen them in atlanta that would have been uh would have been wild to start the show off with that yeah i definitely think rick and shane would have ended up as like you know part of that militia or whatever oh yeah i think though it's it's good that they didn't because you know that what would really made the walking dead honestly for me was just the isolation and de- like the desolation just being alone and knowing or thinking that there weren't that many people left alive in the world Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, if, that, that's what uh, what made it for so long. Oh yeah, if it would have just started with tons of people, it would have just kind of had a yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right, here we go. Stephen Miller. What if the Walking Dead characters of Justin and JP were given the choice to join Negan's group at the sanctuary or the Governor's group at Woodbury? Which would you choose, and why? Both of these places are if Rick never has met either leaders and they are left alone you must choose one i mean if i can be like on top of the heap at a negan's join i'd go with that but if i mean it all depends on the hierarchy you know i'd rather live as just a regular citizen at woodbury but if i'm gonna be like a lieutenant i'd rather be a on negan's crew than the governor's yeah i definitely think the governor's group would have been easier to take over 
because mm-hmm. you could have just blended in with the civilians and slowly gotten closer to the governor. Whereas with Negan and then two, you know, I think, I mean, the governor was a great villain, but I, I feel like Negan is a little smarter, which I know I might catch some flack for that, but I feel like Negan would catch on to, which then again, I don't know. You know what? I could be 100% wrong because Negan really got his rocks off on people kissing his ass. So yeah, Negan might have been easier to manipulate, but um, I mean, I'm kind of like you. I mean, if I'm going to be if I'm going to be in like Simon or Eugene's position, then I'm going saviors. They have cooler stuff. Oh, yeah. Same here. And Negan's funny as hell. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd way rather uh, have a few beers and pickles with him than the governor. Yeah. So I'm going to say sanctuary. I mean, on one hand, you've got. The, the governor with basically like a, a harem upstairs and then you got the governor with like a a, a fish tank full of heads you know in a, a walk-in closet i mean yeah i think i would go with negan in that regard i mean as long as you do what he tells you <laughs> and you right. bow when he walks out and you kiss his ass he's gonna love you and treat you like a king no oh, yeah yeah i think it'd definitely be a better time Let's see. What if Carl, this is still from Stefan Miller. What if Carl killed Negan when he emerged from the back of the truck in season seven, like he planned? How would this change the story? Who would take Negan's place? If it's Simon, would Simon kill Rick and co to avenge Negan? Um, number one, if he killed, if he killed Negan successfully, Carl still would have died. I feel like they would have just oh. gunned him down right after. Yeah, for sure. So Carl would have died, and I don't. Th- I, I do think Simon would have straight up tried to kill the group, but it wouldn't have been really. Too, it might have been under the guise to avenge Negan, but it was just for him because he loved wiping out civilizations. Yeah, he was like a modern day uh, uh, conquistador. Oh yeah, man, it's like Genghis Khan or something. I get a little bit Genghis no. Khan. You love that song, don't you? I do. I can't deny it. It's it's a good song. The video's awesome. Um, but yeah, Simon would have definitely, I mean, Simon already showed that he could take over the, the saviors if Negan was gone. Oh yeah. Like, dude. He, know, yeah. When they, when they thought Negan was de- dead, Simon had no problem just taking control and everyone followed him. So if, if, if Negan would have died in that and then they killed Carl off, Simon would have absolutely taken the reins, but I don't know that he would have. In his heart, he wouldn't have been out for revenge, but I definitely think he would have continued to him. He, he, he just really liked wiping out civilizations. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, he would have went at him hard just because. Oh, yeah. Um, Let's see. Uh, Still from, let's see. Oh, Dwight Schrute says, what kind of bear is best? Q&A, how far is the season one base camp from where the Walking Dead group is now? Well, not exactly the same group, is it? Um, number one, <laughs> Black Bear. Mm, that's no. debatable. Uh, actually, I think the Polar Bear. I mean, the Polar Bear is like the biggest. It's the most ferocious, and it's just a killing machine. I think the Polar yeah. Bear is best. What do you think, JP? Uh, that That's hard to... Uh to argue man we uh, you know like the cold polar bear i love coca-cola so I'll, I'll go with that as well you do love coca-cola i'm drinking one right now oh man yeah i'm drinking a dr pepper right now yeah it's i usually don't like drinking caffeine this late but i don't know i don't either well we just spent an hour and a half trying to fix <laughs> that computer and it right. didn't work so yeah. um and as far as where they are, I mean, their base camp was set out just a little, just, you got to imagine their original base camp was set out just a little ways outside of Atlanta, mm-hmm. um, outside the city in that rock quarry. And now they're in Alexandria, Virginia. So, I mean, that's a, that's a decent little haul. Oh, dude, that's, yeah. What, like easy 12, 8, 12, I, I'm trying to. Th- At least 8, I, I would think, because yeah. I've driven, I've had I've to driven drive. from here to Atlanta. Yeah, same here. I've driven from here to Atlanta, and you got to think, I mean, Alexandria is what, like another two or three hours up past us? Oh, gosh, probably three to four, maybe. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be a good haul. For I think sure. you're right. I think it is closer to four. So, I mean, you're yeah. talking like, what, eight hours from here to Atlanta? And then add another four. So, yeah, you're you're about right. It's about a good 12-hour drive. Yeah, now with the be a long haul. With, you know, considering you don't hit many roadblocks and no traffic, you might could make it a little bit faster. But, um, but yeah, really cool question. I hadn't thought of that. 
Uh, the Kyle, king of trash people, says, what if Shane, Daryl, and Glenn left with Morales in season one? So Shane, Daryl, and Glenn go with Morales. If Shane went to try and protect them, Daryl went because he hated Rick for abandoning Merle, and Glenn went out of guilt for also abandoning Merle and wanted to help Daryl search for him before they leave. How many of them would have survived to become part of the Saviors? And would their presence change the outcome of the war? Oh, that's 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 pretty cool. I could definitely see Shane being a savior. We know Morales became a savior. I could see Daryl becoming a savior. I don't think Glenn would have became a savior. No, I, th- I think he would he would be the one that just wouldn't. Well, I mean, he might would make it, but he'd be living down there on the factory floor, you know, trading goods and services. Oh yeah, Glenn definitely wouldn't have been like in that, uh, you know, in that like brutal savior group yeah but yeah interesting question yeah yeah it's good stuff uh let's see but how would it have show but sometimes we get sidetracked myself included and i'm like yeah good question and we move on i'm like i didn't even answer the whole question um how would the presence of them i mean we saw how it turned out with morales even though daryl is the one that killed him um I mean, Rick running into Shane would have definitely been a, a hitch in the giddy up. Oh God, yeah, yeah. Shane, Ugh. oh my God, Shane, you did, you did, my wife. <laughs> still, uh, it all comes back to that. Still on that, Rick. Um, but no, I mean, I think they still would have won, but it definitely would have been a, a more emotional war. Oh, for sure. I mean, sure. Shane finds out Lori's dead and tells Rick, like, I told you you couldn't keep him alive, which I think he said that in season two. But, you know, just for the sake of it, or, you know, Shane would be like, I knew you couldn't keep him alive. Oh, yeah, he'd be eating some crow. That's for sure. Let's see. Stefan Miller says you guys should do a playlist discussing the fan fiction questions like the really long questions, such as the Game of Thrones Walking Dead question I posted last time. Yeah, I mean, we could definitely start doing some fan fiction. Yeah, yeah, and we've dabbled in that a little bit, but yeah, I, that'd be a lot of fun. Especially with the bond of pleasures. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, Jim Halpert again says, what if Merle's role was switched with Daryl, where Daryl got handcuffed on the rooftop by Rick and Atlanta, and Merle stays back at base camp, but if Merle became the Daryl of the Walking Dead, becoming Rick's right-hand man, you and I, I think, I actually talked about that in the last Walking Dead What If or two. We said that it would have actually made more sense for daryl to die and merle to live because merle i mean daryl kind of just went from like season one i don't like anybody season two i kind of like people season three y'all are my family so you know it would have been really cool because merle definitely was a bigger pos than than daryl was so i i think it would have been cool to have seen actually daryl die and and now merle kind of turning over a new leaf honoring his brother oh yeah dude i i would have much rather have uh, have seen that and plus merle was just so fun on screen i mean it just yeah. would have been cool to have kept him around. i mean because like you could have really toyed with him like never 100 percent falling into that daryl role being just rick's lackey and right hand man and you're my brother but he would have been an ally who still ran his mouth and still caused trouble but slowly got better and better yeah, I would have, uh, sorry, I had to run and go grab a uh, phone charger, but uh, yeah, man, that would have definitely shook it up. I think that's the kind of shakeup they uh, they definitely could have used. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Um, to be honest. You didn't run and grab a phone charger, like, while you were talking, did you? No, no, no. Okay. I, I like, yeah, that's so everything. <laughs> gotcha. I, I wasn't talking off mic. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Owen. Old pal Owen says, what if Michonne joined the group at the start of season two? What would her relationship with Shane, Lori, and Dale have been like? I feel like she'd have been closest to Daryl due to them both feeling like outsiders. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I feel like Daryl would have made it awkward and been like, my brother was a racist. (laughs) (laughs) I used to be a racist. But now I'm cool with you, so don't worry. I like the Chinaman. Yeah. He's Korean. Whatever. Yeah. But no, I definitely, definitely good point, Owen. I could have definitely seen Michonne and Daryl kind of connecting on that, uh, you know, being an outsider and just filling out a place type thing. Um, 
I think she'd have done good. I mean, I, that that Herschel was kind of an asshole. Oh yeah. So I don't yeah, think her, he would have hadn't yeah. like softened up yet. Yeah, and I mean, I, I I think she would have been okay, but I mean, Shane would have probably made it awkward because Shane, you know, especially with the whole Randall thing, I don't think Shane would have trusted her one bit, and especially with her being kind of withdrawn and having two walkers on chains and stuff. I just see Shane being like, hell no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But for an interesting sure. thought for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. UV says, if you guys have PlayStation, I'd love to play with you guys. Well, I, I do have a PlayStation, uh, UV, so uh, maybe we can hook that up. Uh, JP yeah. here has an Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, well, I have, an, I have access to both, but I only have a, an online profile on, in the uh, Xbox. Universe. Tell you what, UV, I'm going to buy him a year of PlayStation, so he has to play with us. But, but yeah, we, uh, maybe we'll make that happen sometime. Uh, but yeah, so I guess that's going to wrap it up. We, I know we do have a few more, but we're having some uh, some more internet issues. We are going to get these straight. I promise. Just bear with us. Um, it, it's it's going to work itself out. It, it, you you don't uh, you don't what's the, what is it? You can't uh, you can't get to the top of the mountain without going through some valleys. So mm, that's true. That's true. But yeah, we'll get back on top of things. It's still, you know, fun, uh, you know, fun experimenting and trying this stuff out. So, you know, it can only go up from here. Thank you so much for sticking with us. And if we didn't get to your Walking Dead What If question, please leave it on this video. Just copy and paste it, and we'll definitely get it next week. But in the meantime, I'm Justin. I'm JP. And we're the Podcasting Dead. Yup.